Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. When lighting a reflective scene like jewelry, oftentimes as you adjust the lighting for one part of your model, you lose some of the punch for another. As you can see here, as we adjust the lighting for the ring, the gem can become blown out. On the other hand, as you adjust the lighting for the gem, the ring becomes dull and has less contrast. In Keyshot Pro, this can be solved easily with a combination of editing the HDRI and saving view sets. But you can also achieve similar results in Keyshot HD with a few more steps. First, set up your scene and lighting and address one portion of the model. In this case, the metal of the ring. Don't forget to create a new camera and lock it so our renders will line up perfectly. Find a suitable HDRI to light the metal portion of your scene and don't worry too much about how it will affect the gem. Since we are using Keyshot HD, we do not have access to the HDRI editor, which is a pro feature. But we can still make adjustments like brightness and rotation in the environments tab. Once you have your scene ready, save your file as ring metal and render it. Next, address the second part in your scene. In this case, we'll be lighting the gem of the ring. Drag in an HDRI that best lights the part, and if needed, make any adjustments to the HDRI in the Environments tab. After the gem is lit perfectly, go to the file and save as to name this file something unique to the scene. In this case, Ring Gem Lighting. Check to see your render settings are the same as the first render, and render the scene with, with the properly lit gems. In the scene tree, right-click the model and create a duplicate. Hide the original, and unlink the materials of the copy. Edit the materials of the metal and the gem, and make it a flat material. Assign two distinct colors to the flat materials. In the Environment tab, turn off ground shadows and ground illumination. This is creating a clown pass or ID pass manually that we will be using for mask purposes in Photoshop. Render the scene again, but change the file format to PNG and select option to render with alpha. In Photoshop, place all the renders in a single PSD file. On the clown pass layer, use the color selection tool to select the gem shape. Move the slider of the fuzziness all the way to the right and click OK. Select the layer with the correctly lit gems and click the mask button. Make sure the gem layer is above the ring layer and turn off the clown pass layer. Now you have a composite image with optimal lighting on both the gem and metal using the tools available in Keyshot HD. For more quick tips and tutorials, go to keyshot.com learning.